Yo guys, it's Nick. So, the lithium came in. I am actually so hyped for this. I haven't even wrote it yet, but um, I was tightening it and there is a problem. My back wheel is just a little bit loose. Oops, the box fell down. Anyways, the scooter that I got is the, if you, or yeah, you, none of you guys know because I didn't tell you guys. The scooter that I got is uh, the Root Industries Lithium uh, Lotus Street Edition. It is really nice. And one of my favorite things is these wheels. They are like honey cores, but um, a different type of uh, design. And it does make it a lot stronger. Uh, I've done some research. These bearings are crazy though. They spin for crazy long. It's really awesome. But uh, I just unboxed it and assembled it. And I really want to get some clips because I am so hyped and I really want to ride this. Uh, the back wheel is a little bit loose, so uh, it may sound weird throughout the video. But hopefully you guys uh, are okay with that. But yeah, let's get some clips. Okay, guys, it's completely finished. I dialed the back wheel somehow. Big brain. <laughs> I used the screwdriver. Um, but here's the drop test. Let's go. Sounds like a basketball. So sick. Um, I am going to be riding this now, getting my first couple clips. I haven't put a foot on it yet. So I'm gonna go put some shoes on, uh, ask my sister if she can film me, and ride this scooter for the first time. Before I get some clips, guys, I'm wearing a new helmet. It looks actually pretty sick. It looks like I'm wearing the hat under the helmet, so doesn't matter but i do really want to ride i haven't rode it yet so i'm super hyped and yeah let's get clips whoa this thing feels sick all right whoops all right guys hopefully you like that little riding uh segment that was actually my first clips i've ever got on this scooter but yeah um so far it's been a really great scooter i've had no problems with it but right now i'm just going to be doing a rundown i'm going to be giving you the specs how tall you should be to ride this scooter um and basically just everything you need to know about it the grips are Root Industries R2 grips. They're really soft and they came out of the box. Like they feel worn in already, even though I've had them for four days, they they feel like they've been ridden for a year. Really awesome grips. Then they come with the Root Industries standard bar ends. Uh, nothing too special about them. It definitely is going to protect you from getting impaled by your bars. Um, Moving on to the bars, we have the Root Industries uh, lithium bars. The only complete these come on is the Root Industries Lithium, as I was saying. But you can buy them as an aftermarket part on Amazon or any other scooter shop that you guys um, know of that sells the bars as an aftermarket part. Um, the clamp is a Root Industries IHC double clamp. It's nothing too special, standard. Um, next up, we got the Root Industries Air Headset. It's a smooth and fast headset, it's standard. It comes on most of Root's completes. If you've seen someone riding a Root Industries complete, they've probably had the Root Air headset. Um, it is a really great headset though. Moving on to the fork. The fork is a Root Industries lithium uh, lithium fork. You, The only complete you can get this on is the lithium. And I don't think they sell it as an aftermarket part. I could be wrong but I was doing my research and I don't think they sell it as an aftermarket part. Uh, moving on to the wheels. The wheels are uh, Root Industries Lotus wheels. These, the only complete these come on uh, so far 
are is the Root Industries Lithium in uh, the Lotus Street Edition, which is the one I got. These are really sick wheels. They're 30 wide by 120 mil 20 millimeters long. Um, something special about that is they're actually 30 millimeters long. So I, I have yet to see that, or I still have not seen that on a complete. So that is something that's really special. Um, they are Lotus wheels and they are super special. Uh, but I will try and get a close up of them right now. They have a really nice design and they do look a lot like Root Industries Honeycore wheels. Uh, they are very similar except this one has a different design. Um, but yeah, they are sick wheels. They come with ABEC, Root Industries ABEC 11 bearings. These things spin so fast and they are so awesome. Um, and something else is the core. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys probably can't. But the core actually has a concave so the wheel is actually 30 millimeters wide so it's wider than standard wheels but the concave actually is um a standard wheel core size or standard wheel size so the root industries fork can actually fit um regular standard size wheels if you guys wanted to switch them out but the lotus wheels are 30 30 millimeters wide but the scooter can ride any other standard wheel if you guys wanted to know that so yeah that is something that's pretty sweet pretty different and pretty awesome moving on to the deck which in my opinion is the craziest part about this scooter um the deck is the root industries lithium deck it only comes on the root industries lithium i think you can buy it as an aftermarket part but I'm not sure where you can buy it from. You guys kind of just have to look for that. Um, it has an 82.5 degree head tube angle. So, uh, pretty sick. Um, it has three cutouts in the head tube. So it takes away from the weight, which makes it a lighter scooter. And a lighter scooter is always um, awesome to have. It's 20.5 by 4.8 inches um, wide and long or long and wide so it's different from most completes because most completes come in 19.5 wide but this comes in 20.5 wide which um, adds more footroom and makes it a lot more comfortable to ride it has a three millimeter concave um, on the actual deck so it it's not like you're just standing when you're riding it's actually concave so it'll feel a lot more comfortable um, and the most amazing part is the boxed ends box you don't see boxed ends on an entry level complete um an entry level complete is something a beginner to intermediate level rider would ride i am more of a beginner but it's an entry level complete and it has boxed ends box ends help with grinds and they're going to progress your learning a lot more if you guys are new to scootering but yeah that is something that i find pretty awesome on the scooter um the scooter does have a sick decal on the bottom it has grind rails um so it won't tear up the graphic on the bottom but yeah that's a it's a really sick deck and definitely the lightest deck i've ever seen um i do not know the exact weight of this scooter actually but it is the lightest complete i've ever touched so yeah that's something pretty awesome the brake is a Root Industries nylon standard brake. There's nothing too special about it. It's just a brake. Um, and yeah, I think I've covered all the parts, but let's dive into the specs. I'm just going to say all the specs, um, even though I said most of the specs. So the bars are 25 inches tall by 23 inches wide. This means that um, the bars fit or the bars would be most comfortable on someone who's five feet or five one, five two, maybe five three. Um, as I said, 25 tall, 23 wide. Really awesome bars. Um, I forgot to cover the grip tape. The grip tape is um, just a standard root grip tape, nothing special about it. Um, again, the bars 23 wide, 25 
uh, tall, pretty sick. The deck, 20.5 long, 4.8 wide, 82.5 degree head tube angle, and three millimeter concave on the deck. The wheels are 120 millimeters um, in size and 30 millimeters wide. Uh, I think that's all the sizes I needed to cover. Um, and something else you guys should know is that this scooter is made with Root Industries new high modulus alloy, which is basically an aluminum, but it's really light, but it also makes it really strong. So that's something that's really awesome. I think I've covered everything on this scooter. Uh, this is the best complete I've ever ridden. It's definitely an awesome scooter and I highly recommend it if you're starting out scootering or if you're an intermediate level rider looking to upgrade from um, an older scooter. So 10 out of 10 for um, 180 US dollars, you're getting a scooter with boxed ends, 30 millimeter wide wheels and, alum and an entire aluminum scooter. Definitely the best complete I've seen for the price, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys um, have been following this channel, in my last video, I said that I would post uh, my summer camp video yesterday, but when I was uh, importing the GoPro clips, since I was filming for too long on some of the clips, the audio got messed up and um, it was just not uploadable. So I'm really sorry about that, but I am uploading this video today. So if you're new here, then it would mean a lot to me if you could get me to 300 subscribers by the end of the year. It would just mean so much to me and it would make me really happy. Um, don't forget to like this video and maybe share it with a friend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.